after Megan. She graduated before all of us. Yeah. She just dominated it. Boom. She got 10 job offers. <laughs> From AMR. <laughs> Out of town, AMR. I think the doctor offered her his job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now Derek's texting. Derek says, Oh, Derek says it. He liked that I said that Derek had 100 questions while that guy was talking. And I just kept begging Corey to make Derek stop. <laughs> just stop. Make Derek stop, please. Please. Okay, you guys got any questions before we get going? Negative. Not I do. Any. Yes, Sarah. Um, can we talk about oh. like, maneuvers? I like maneuvers. For drowning. Okay. Because it was not in any of our slides, and then I was doing the quizzes, and it talked about like the only time that it's appropriate. Well, because we had some scenarios also mm -hmm. in um, lab, and so. The quizzes that I've been doing say like only when it's distended and it's but that you ventilate first and you don't even try to like do anything first at all to like get rid of water. I just want to talk about that. How do you treat them when there's a Do you just start with do you start with iron? Are they unconscious or are they conscious? Well, I'm just like, so, so in your quizzes, was it saying that you start with Heimlich? No. Well, they're random, so she could have taken a quiz that we didn't know. I all saw that question. Um, it says that you do not. Like some of the quizzes are like, yeah, you do not do. It's like, well, bystander's yelling at you, like, do the Heimlich. What do you say? You don't do it. And then another question says, Wait, but they, feel if they have a distended stomach and um, they're not ventilating well, then you do put some abdominal pressure while you lay them on their side. Um, so it's just like different things and we didn't really talk about it, so. So there's a reason why we didn't really talk about it because we don't really do, do it. it. Okay, so pre hospital setting, what do we have as paramedics? Suction. 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 ET tube. What other kind of suction? You can use a gastric suction. Okay, so your OG and your NG tubes, so that we can suction. Yeah, that's true. You, you create a vacuum. Oral gastric tube uh -huh. drops, drops all the way down into your stomach, right? So you inject air, apply the suction, and you can suck out a whole bunch of stuff that way. Okay. Right. So if we have a distended belly and a drowning person. That is one of the first things that you're going to want to do is drop an OG tube and start suctioning. Okay. So, uh, um, because if you end up going with the high lift maneuver, and, and it would be more of an abdominal thrust if, because obviously if they, they're a drowning person. So let's back that up. High lift maneuvers are usually what? Standing person? You come in behind them, you do it that way, right? So if they're a drowning person, if they're a drowning person and they have like fluid in their lungs, they're probably not going to like you coming up and trying to do the high lift maneuver. They, and one of the questions used the word I'm like. I'm just thinking like some kind of stomach pressure. Yeah. You know what I mean? It seems like uh, gastric distension when we overbag somebody in old videos I've seen where they try and push on the stomach to get the air out, but yeah. it doesn't work. Yeah, no. Uh, and so that's where the, your intragastric pressure, right? So if you fill up and fill up and fill up with the air, right, what eventually happens? It's going to vomit, right? So what, what is your inner, inner abdominal pressure is higher than your uh, atmospheric pressure, right? So, that, so now you're going to get the air that way, right? So we drop the OG tube down in there to help relieve that pressure, and we basically keep a constant suction going to eliminate that. With that being said, so think about where the fluid is, is that we're trying to really remove. What are we concerned with fluid? The fluid lungs. lungs. Lungs, right? So that's where we would do our regular ET tube suctioning in an attempt to suction that out, right? So when it comes to like any sort of abdominal thrusts or anything like that, you gotta remember the idea behind those is you have an obstruction somewhere where you're trying to get this one object out of the way. Yeah. Whereas when we have suction devices and stuff like that, that's where we're, we're grabbing multiple amounts of fluid, liquid, phlegm, stuff like that to suction that stuff out. And that's the conversation we had last week with salt water in the lungs is going to pull that fluid and we're going to have to constantly suction it. <coughs> yes. Yeah. So you're constantly working on the fluid and so that's why as you bag, you're listening, you're bag, you're listening, you're constantly listening 
And is it ever going to sound clear after a drowning? No. No, you're never going to be able to accomplish full, clear lung sounds, right? But what you are going to do is you're going to basically go from a, where it sounds like ronchi, like whoa, 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 like as you're bagging, to it'll start to clear up, it'll become uh, less coarse, you'll still hear a little bit of noises, um, kind of more like a fine slash uh, minimal uh, ronchi compared to the, there's tons of liquid down there. And I think we're the Heimlich maneuver, so I'm reading something about it right now, I think where the Heimlich maneuver would come into play is when you don't have the ability of establishing the airway. Yeah. So they're talking about... Um, BLS kind of. Yeah, it's, it's BLS or you know, light, light guards or something like that that don't have any ability of controlling the airway. If you give the Heimlich maneuver over about four to six seconds, then you can clear out a somewhat of amount of water to help. Uh, help along that patient during CPR if it comes down to that. But if you have any heat you drop in there, you can suck all the water out of there. Okay. I don't agree with this article. Cool. Really so. cool. All right. Okay. Toxicology. What is toxicology? <laughs>